Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. Today we're going to talk about a special feature that guides how our unstructured domains are shaped. We call it surface shape. The main purpose of this feature is to allow you to quickly associate domains with curvy, non-planar surfaces. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have the upper surface of a wing. If I'd like to put an unstructured domain on this, I can do it very quickly. I just select the wing, and I go up to the toolbar, and search for the icon that says Domains on Database Entities. I click that icon, and there we have an unstructured domain. And if you look closely, it is associated with our curved surface. Wonderful. Let's go a little bit deeper into this. Click on Grid, Solve, click on Attributes, the feature that we're talking about today is called, is called shape. It's a surface shape. It's actually a frame here. If it's not already expanded, go ahead and click the checkbox. And in the shape drop-down box, there are two options, free and database. Right now, it's on database. Let's set it to free and see what happens. Go to solve and initialize. From this angle, it doesn't look like much changed, but let's rotate it a little bit. You can see that the domain actually pulled away from the surface. And that's because we have it set to free. It is not being associated with the surface. Now, it is following the edge connectors, which were defined when I initialized the domain. I'm going to push OK. Let's imagine we're in a situation where we've initialized our unstructured domain. And instead of being on a surface, it seems to be floating in space like this one is. How do we fix that? Well, go ahead and select the domain. And go back up to Grid, Solve. And once again, click on the Attributes tab. And let's take, take a look back at the, uh, the shape option here, surface shape. And let's change it from free to database. Now we're going to have to tell it which database. And that's what this button is for, this begin button. Click on begin. And let's select the database that we're interested in. I'm going to click on that one. And notice the begin button has turned to end. I push that. That means my selection is done. And I go back to the solve tab and click on initialize. And once again, our domain has jumped up, and it is now associated with the database that we are interested in. If you like this video, be sure to click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below, or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all, and have a pleasant Tuesday.